Uniform Grid Panel in Unreal Engine UI. This is Rumbud. Let's build a clean and organized layout using the Uniform Grid Panel in Unreal Engine. First, our root is a canvas panel. Inside the canvas panel, I drag and drop a Uniform Grid Panel. With the Uniform Grid Panel selected, let's center it. In the Details panel, set Anchor to the middle, then set Position X and Position Y to 0. Now change size X to 500 and size Y to 300. Set alignment X and Y both to 0 0.5 so everything is perfectly centered on the screen. Next let's add some content, drag an image widget into the uniform grid panel. Now with that image selected, press Ctrl plus D five times to quickly duplicate it so you end up with six images in total. Now I'll show you how to organize these images into a grid using the arrow buttons next to each image. Click on the second image and use the arrow controls to move it to row 0, column 1. Select the third image, move it to row 0, column 2. Now the fourth image, set it to row 1, column 0. Fifth image goes to row 1, column 1. And the sixth image, row 1, column 2. By using the arrow keys next to the edge of each image, you can quickly change both row and column and visually sort your layout without typing any numbers. To make our grid easy to see, let's give each image a different color. Click on the first image and change its color to light blue. Second image, pick red. Third one, set it to blue. Fourth, use dark red. Fifth image, set it to green. And the last one, make it purple. The actual colors don't matter as long as each one is different. This way, you can see the separation between grid cells. Now let's talk about alignment inside each grid cell. I'll select all six images at once. Then in the details panel, find slot uniform grid slot. Here you'll see both horizontal alignment and vertical alignment options. If you set both to fill, each image will stretch out to completely fill itself. You can also experiment by setting just one to fill and leaving the other at center to see how the images resize inside their cells. For example, if you only use horizontal fill, the image will stretch left and right but stay centered vertically. Try each combination to see how it changes the layout. If you're finding this helpful, hit subscribe. Now let's explain the basics of how rows and columns work. Row number and column number both start from zero. So row zero and column zero means first row, first column. The next item is row zero, column one, which is first row, second column, and so on. This zero-based system is like indexing in most programming languages. You always count from zero. Let's get back to the uniform grid panel itself. Select it and under child layout, find the slot padding setting. Set slot padding to 15. This adds some spacing between all the images in your grid, making it easier to read and visually cleaner. Now let's add some text blocks at the bottom to show that you can use different widgets inside the uniform grid panel. Drag in a text block widget and set its row to two and column to zero. Add another text block, set row to two and column to one, and one more, row to two and column to two. Change the text for each block as you like, and maybe bump up the font size so it's easy to see. And that's the basics of the uniform grid panel. It gives you a fast, easy way to make clean, even layouts where everything snaps into place. You can use it for icons, text, stats, menus, and anything else you want organized in rows and columns. Don't forget to subscribe for more UI tips. If you want to learn more about UI panels and advanced layouts, check out the rest of this playlist on my channel.